Ecclesiastes chapter 9. For all this I considered in my heart, even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean, and to the unclean, to him that sacrificeth and to him that sacrificeth not. As is the good, so is the sinner. He that sweareth as he that feareth an oath. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live. And after that they go to the dead. For to him that is joined, to all the living there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart, for God now accepteth thy works. Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he hath given thee under the sun. All the days. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity, which he hath given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity. For that is thy portion in this life and in thy labor which thou takest another wait, sorry which thou takest under the sun whatsoever thy hand findeth to do do it with thy might for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest i'm going to do a quick pause to explain how this is in the old testament so in the old testament when people died they basically went to sleep um, and they went to Abraham's bosom. So it was different than it is now. Now, when a man dies, they go to heaven. So there's a difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament, which you cannot understand the Bible if you don't understand that. So it says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. So this is Jewish doctrine, Old, Old Testament. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happeneth to them all. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city, and few men within it. And there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. And I mentioned how the Old Testament saints were asleep in the Old Testament. Um, well, we have some verses in the Bible that can prove that. Let's go to Matthew chapter 28, I believe. It talks about it's 
in the end of the book of Matthew, it does talk about how many of the saints arose um, from the grave. that verse and uh, post that on, on the YouTube channel because uh, that definitely did happen. Uh, let me go find it and I'll post that. God bless.